pretty cool. WPTV News Channel 5's Daniel C. joins us now in studio. And Danielle, Bush Wildlife is breaking ground on a new facility, and word is it'll be much bigger. <laughs> Chris Holland is actually going to be double the yeah. size of their current facility, and the executive director said. on the Rocky Pines campus is the Cornelia T. Bailey Environmental Education Building. It will house our education department, our welcome desk, our souvenirs, our animal commissary, and all of our administration offices. In my opinion, this is actually the crown jewel of the new Rocky Pines Bush Wildlife Sanctuary campus. This enclosure here is for our bobcats, and there's actually two yards for them, but it's kind of like a four-leaf clover. We've got a centralized kitchen, and our bobcats, our bears, our panthers, and our otters will all have their habitats off of it. Um, outside, panthers are on the south part of the property and they will also have two yards to enjoy. Bears on this side will have a much larger uh, yard and a new pool set up, uh, something that is more conducive for them being older now with a nice lazy river for them. Roofed in and we'll have hallways that'll keep from escape but we're very, very proud of these as they're built above regulation size. So this building is our reptile house. It will contain all of our snakes. We can also use it for our baby gators, small tortoises. We'll have a nice little... Uh... How you guys doing? Good, thanks. This will be our lobby where people can drop off wildlife in need. We'll have a public restroom and we also have our exam room. tour of our new Rocky Pines campus and where we stand 100 days from our first concrete tour. We still have a long way to go though. We're only about halfway in our fundraising towards our phase one goal, which is 10 million of our overall $18 million goal. Love to give you a guided tour out here. Love to tell you all about all the wonderful things we have down the pipeline. Please feel free to reach out or go to our website for more information.